hello friends this is Carmen welcome back to my channel as you can see Rosie and I are out on the balcony today it is about two o'clock in the afternoon but it's kind of cold here it's not even 60 degrees I think it's like 55 so I have got my socks and sandals and sweats on so sorry if I don't get in front of the camera but Rosie is enjoying this cooler weather I'm letting her little fur grow out a little bit so she stays warm I've got a balcony tour for you this afternoon or morning wherever you may be and uh, so let's get started now I did sweep the balcony and clean it up before this but we have had such windy days lately and I've got this horrible pine tree here that I'm having to deal with so it really really drops a lot of needles and just stuff down here so I try to clean it up the best I could it looks different than the last time I showed you this. You know the summer that I had out here with my plants, friends, and the loss that I had that I'm still mourning. But slowly but surely, I'm getting things back in shape, getting new plants to fill the gaps that were left. Over here, my aloes and haworthias did wonderful, though. I do have this... Um, umbrella that I use this is just an umbrella that you attach to like a mobile scooter or a, a baby a stroller um, to use and I just attach it to that bar cart and it covers these and it did really really well in protecting my Haworthias look at this Limiflora fairy board Haworthia a fairy washboard I think it is and my Haworthia zebra this was sent to me by a subscriber the aloe juvena I'm not sure what's going on with it it's closing up I think the cold may have something to do with it uh, aloe firebird I think and aloe it's a climbing aloe, I believe. Mm, I don't have a name tag on this one. It's something snow. <laughs> I apologize, friends. I thought I had more name tags on these. I know this is my favorite. This is the aloe partridge breast. Look at its babies there. Isn't that beautiful? This is my favorite aloe out here. Such a brilliant, brilliant aloe this here it's finally starting to grow it is a velt grape it's quadrangulancus something or other but i know it is velt grape thought i had lost it but it's growing back it actually will be a hanging plant once it finally decides to grow some but you know what the birds have been digging at the dirt there so that's why this is pink blush look at her baby look how much it's growing this one, I forget, somebody had told me. Oh, great. Haworthia. And it's scrubbed out. Ganatata. I'll have to, I'll put it on the screen there. I used to think it was an aloe, but it is a Haworthia. Look how much it's growing. It's been in this pot for a couple of years, and it's loving it, so I don't really have any plans to repot it. This is a newer one for me. Aloe Coral Fire. It does have a baby. Let me show you. Look at her. See, I am still finding all sorts of stuff everywhere. Down below. Oh. Aloe Blizzard. I think the cold is starting to get to it also. See how it's kind of closing? And uh, Copper King, my malaria, I believe. This is my newest one, Aloe Starry Night. Beautiful. I love it. That is a cutting from my dragon fruit. These are cuttings that a subscriber sent me. I do not know the name, but they were bare 
no rooting at all. I just stuck them in the soil and they rooted. So they're growing there. This is my pickle plant that I got from Hertz Garden not too long ago. It's kind of growing, <laughs> kind of wonky. And here's my little clam cactus. I call it that, but it's, um, I'll put the name on the screen, hon. <laughs> this actually is an agave that my mom gave me. It's just, it was just a little pup that she took off of a larger agave and it's growing there. This here, I don't know what's wrong with it. I give it water and it does this. It's growing, but I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Here's my Euphorbia Snowflake. It's doing good. Not much growth. I think it's um, a bit dormant now. Here's a little pup of my Gasteria Little Warty. And a Mammillaria that I do not know the name of. Here's another memory. I think this is um, Lady Fingers, I believe. Oh, I've got Elongata. It's not that. And then a little bunny ear. Pontia. That's growing there. Used to be something else here. You know, I've had a real issue with the birds getting into some of my pots and digging around in the dirt. This here, I'm going to have to repot because... Look at this. It's growing so tall and it's tipping over the house. I have a little stake here, but it's just getting so top heavy. The Sopuntia. So I need to repot that. This is my rose quartz, Echinopsis rose quartz. And look, this one's growing into the other pot. And I do need to put these when I have some gloves or something on into the soil because those broke off. You see right there where that piece needs to go into the soil. But the rest are growing. I am so hoping that in the spring this gives off its beautiful rose colored flowers. My old man cactus. My big old man. And my little old man. <clears throat> Look at these guys. And this is my Opuntia Monocartha Monstros variegated. You can see the variegation on there. Look how beautiful. But look at the pink tips. That is stress from the cold. Look at that one. And um, growth. It's been growing. Right now, these look, the soil looks wet because I watered yesterday, but that was the first time I had watered in about a month. Almost four weeks. And um, I've really cut back on the watering now. Now, I've got some Hopuntias here that I am not sure if they're going to survive or not because this is what's left of them. Like this lower pad looks dead, but the top, is growing. I did water it yesterday, so I don't know. We'll see. And then I put these here into this little red cauldron because the little red metal wagon they were in fell apart. So, look, see? A feather. Ugh, birds. So, this bunny ear cactus and this thimble cactus Looks like it's falling over. I gotta fix that. Are here now with their little fairy lady in the red cauldron. My aloe Crosby's prolific. Love, love this aloe. If you want an aloe that just grows and grows and is what its name says, prolific, this is the one. My Euphorbia Medusa's head. It's doing good. Waiting for the spring and the flowers. My my plumeria did go into dormancy, so I am hardly watering it. All the big leaves fell off. The ones that were budding just kind of stayed there. 
So it's pretty much in dormancy right now. Just waiting for the spring. My dragon fruit, look at this guy. Just incredible growth. It's slow growth right now, but doing great. Next to that is my totem pole cactus. I got this about mm, two and a half years ago, maybe three. This cutting right here. It's not rooted or anything. It was just a, just an arm that was taken off a totem pole cactus. Potted it up in this because it's like curved. It was an arm. And it uh, rooted, started giving off this baby. And it's been growing beautifully. It had this baby attached. I think it was right here. And I bumped into it one day and accidentally broke it off. I was so mad at myself. But I popped it into another container. It rooted. And now I just put it back into this one with its mom. So they're doing good. Slow growth right now because of the winter. But come spring and summer, I'm hoping that she'll give off another arm. Here is my um, Kalankoe pink butterfly. And it's doing good, a little bit leggy, kind of reaching for some sun. You can see the pink on the stress. It, in the springtime, it'll give off its little pink um, plantlets that are alongside the edges of the leaves there. And uh, so that'll be good. This is my Kalinkoi Beharensis. I don't think I've ever shared this with you. This was a, a clearance plant save. Seems to be doing okay. But um, we'll see. It's got some new growth there. These can get huge. They can get really, really big. Obviously, I don't have the room for that. So I'm happy to have this little guy. Kalinkoi Beharensis. Here's the cuttings that my mom gave me of the San Pedro cactus. It was these two. Uh, again, no roots, anything. Just plopped them in the soil. They rooted in this one. Actually, it was all one piece and I cut it in half. Um, so it's giving off this arm here. It's a little leggy at the top, stretched out because it's looking for sun. But I'm hoping that in the spring, summer, it'll give off another arm. I put these bamboo stakes here to help it out. Even added this little turtle back here to help hold them up. I may cut this one in half and put it in, in there and just kind of fill out the pot and see if it, the bottom piece gives off another arm. We'll see. And then over here is my Euphorbia pseudocactus zigzag. Isn't it pretty? Look at the coloring on that. I'm hoping that it'll give off an arm in the spring. And my Kalinkoe copper spoons. It's doing really well. Repotted it, gave it some fresh soil and some nutrients. Doing great. And this is my Kalinkoe fang. <laughs> this plant is, you can see, it tells a story. You can see it's growing and then it thought it might die and it was growing down. And I thought it was gonna die. Then it decided to live and it starts growing up. So now I had to put this rock here to make sure that it doesn't pop out of its container so I could cut them and you know root them propagate them but I kind of like the way that it hangs that way and its name is fang because you see there the little bumps there so pretty so I'm gonna leave fang alone and let him do his thing Here's a Euphorbia um, Lactea. Look at that. Just dormant right now. A little bit of cold stress on the top there, but it's doing good. 
Um, I forget the name of this aloe. I'll put it on the screen. I'm going to have to look it up to see which aloe this is. But I bought it with a little baby. And look how it's grown. And the leaves on it didn't even come out to the edge of the bowl container. And look, they're all on the outside of the container. And I knew it was going to grow big like that. That's why I put it in this uh, container. It's actually a bowl that I got at Goodwill and drilled a hole in it. Here's another Pontia. The same one as that other one over there that's leaning. My monstrous cactus. I think I showed these to you in my recent weird cactus. Eve's needle crested. It's doing great. My frog here with my aloe vera. Let's see. Lots of pups growing in there. I have propagated this guy so much. Well, this plant itself is a cutting from a huge plant that I left at my old home. And this is what I brought with me from here. I propagated so much. Tradescantia purple hearts. I'm going to have to do something they're already touching the ground. Madagascar palm. This has grown a lot. When I first got this one, it was this size. And now it's big and it has a little pup. These get really big, but they're slow growers. And my Euphorbia rubra. It's struggling a little bit. It had a bout with scales over the summer. And although it's getting some leaves on top, it's growing slow. So I th I'm hoping that once Although I, I hadn't noticed this. These are new. And that's new. So I hadn't noticed that. So that's good. Oh, and back there too. I need to get out here and look more. So it does look like it's coming back little by little. I'm hoping that in the spring it will really take off. Because I, I love this plant. Let me go on the table here. And here you have the my Euphorbia Lactia Ghost crested on another Euphorbia. I brought some of my snake plants out. This is my Sensevaria Zelanica. And uh, Sensevaria Stuckii. And then here is my Euphorbia Ghost. Look at the pink on it. Isn't that pretty? So there, here, let me go up now before we go on to the shelves. This is my um, Catalidin Pendants. It's doing good. I have not repotted this. It's still in the nursery soil, but it's doing good. It's getting new growth. I'm just hoping that in the spring it blooms. It has the most beautiful blooms. And then my Crassula string of buttons. I haven't repotted this one either. But these are doing okay out here. Hasn't gotten super cold where we have a frost or freezing or anything. My donkey's tail. It's doing fine. You get, see the new growth on there? Good. And this is a Portulacara Afra cutting that I popped into this and I made a hanging plant out of it. And this here is a cactus that I do not know the name, but it's growing good. I need to do some research on this guy and see who and what it is. So take a look at the shelving here bottom shelf um, I just have again empty containers move this over and this is all just storage of old pots and fairy gardens and stuff that I'm waiting for the spring to do anything with but here here's my bonsai 
Porto Cara for Bonsai. My Kalinkoe Flapjacks. It's got a little bit of damage there, but it's growing. And it's got also tiny, tiny, tiny new baby down there. And it's my Monstros. Look at the new growth on there. Isn't that cool? This is Orchid Cactus, I believe. It is a cutting that's had a hard time. I had to re-root it. It did, and I put it in this container. We'll see how it does. My Echeveria uh, Crinoline Ruffles. Doing good. Little leggy. You can see it's etiolated a little bit, kind of searching for some sun. Here, thimble cactus, my domino cactus, which I'm a little concerned about. See that wrinkle there? But it's not soft or anything. So I'm hopeful. It's a very a raindrop. A um, subscriber sent me my um, ox tongue, Gasteria glom glomerata ox tongue basically it's growing really well it's getting big and these are cuttings that I propagated from my Sansevieria Laurentii growing well here's another Gasteria little warty these are all pups from the main one that I have inside so it's doing well these are cuttings from the Tradescantia purple heart put in here up above my um, Laurentii which I watered yesterday so I'm hoping that leaf there uh, does okay my rickrack cactus it is one cutting that has grown a bunch of little arms and even right here you can see right there it's growing so We'll see. I'm thinking that in the spring I may pop some of these off and repot them just to make a little fuller. And then my, get over here, my Portulacara Afra elephant's food bush still growing. <laughs> so long now. It's incredible. I'm going to let it grow. So we'll see. So that is what is on or in my balcony. It's, you know, a work in progress now. It's recovery now as far as putting new plants out here, taking care of the ones that have survived the summer and getting to the spring so we can propagate and repot and add some more plants. But I'm really happy with it. Um, we do have not had any frost alerts or freezes or anything. The lowest the temperature's gotten is down to 40, which all of these plants can handle. If it gets down anywhere 35 or below is when I'll bring out the frost sheets and get them covered up. If you enjoyed this video, friends, please do give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys so, so very much. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And you won't miss any of my videos. I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.